Hey there, and welcome to this remote edition of Kipasa. It has been a while. Going to have a chat with Lauren Falco from El Paso Live. She's got the scoop on some cool socially distant events coming up. <laughs> hey, Lauren. Hey, Dan. How are you? I'm chugging along. How have you been? I've been good. A little cooped up, but I'm, I'm enjoying time at home with Ollie. She's... Oh, TV's Detective Olivia Benson. Detective Olivia Benson, yes, at the Special Victims Unit. <laughs> hey, so things have been kind of weird. We've had a lot of events and shows and concerts canceled, but we finally have something to talk about. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we have events. I'm so excited. Currently doing the Plaza Classic Film Festival. Um, it's the parking lot tour. That's what we've deemed it. The last two shows, which are this weekend, Saturday night is everyone's favorite Rocky Horror Picture Show with Hedwig and the Angry Inch. It's going to be a double feature. And then Sunday will be Casablanca. And you guys are doing all of this over at Hangar 7 Studios, right? That's by the airport off of Lee Fisher? It's this beautiful lot. It's like a great backdrop of the mountains and it's gonna be really, really cool. It's the largest screen, I believe, in El Paso for drive-up movies. And then once all of this is over, you're gonna keep the drive-in movies going with El Paso Live, another movie series. Yes, so we are very excited to introduce Movies on the Fly in partnership with the El Paso International Airport. A nine movie series, August 14th, and it goes through August 30th, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. We'll have Moana, we have Nacho Libre. You saw Ferris Bueller, you got the OG Ghostbusters. Just really fun movies that I think people really enjoy. Yeah, just bring some snacks and, oh, you, you guys said that uh, it's all cashless though, right? So you gotta get your tickets at opasolive.com. $25 per vehicle plus a facility fee. We're practicing social distancing. Of course, you have to wear your mask if you're outside the car, um, but we ask people to stay in their cars for the actual movie. You and I are kind of that generation that we just missed out on driving movie theaters. There was one by my grandma's house over by Scott at the Park, but I never really got to go to it. It's something I've always wanted to experience, but of course, unfortunately, all the great drive-ins were dead at the time. 25 bucks is a good value too, when you think about it, when you do the math for everybody in your household. Yeah, I mean, if you got an Escalade, you can pack a whole bunch of people in that car, so 25 bucks. <laughs> Lauren, it's been really, really good to catch up with you. We're gonna have to do this again sometime. All right, bye, Dan. Bye, Detective Olivia Benson.